Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We're on March Merch 6.3.1. We're in VirtualBox and we've downloaded and updated our system to the last version from 21 January 2018. The topic of this tutorial is specifically MPT. Let's take a look where it, what it is. We're going to need it anyway. So Arch Wiki MPT. That's one thing, it's a music player daemon. That's in Dutch, let's get the English version. And the other one we're gonna need is Arch Wiki N M NCM PC PP, I think that's the one. NCM PC PP, all right. So what is this all about? Maybe an image says something more than lots of uh, Text. So these are images. This is what we hope to achieve or something similar. Fonts is eye coloring of fonts and so on. That uh, can be changed. That's uh, okay. That's, that's normal. But it's this kind of layout, this kind of application that we want to achieve. Namely a terminal. And in the terminal we get our music list and you get our albums and titles and we just select what we want to hear from our uh, files, so it's not uh, Spotify, it's not online, it's not streaming, it's your local music files that you want to uh, play. So this is what we're talking about. All right, so how do we install all these things on there? Well, MPT is a music player. Two things you sh should know. That, um, like in, in client server structures, you have here uh, a server element, which is going to be music player daemon and was going to serve the music to a front end and front end can be this one ncmpcpp which is going to be an, uh, a client who's going to ask give me that song and then the server the back end is going to give it to you so you have different ways of, of different applications to that um, you can use client applications you can use that work with mpd server but that's for other uh, tutorials. So we're going to stick with these two, a backend and a frontend. Of course, you know me by now and you say, Eric probably has a script for that, and I do. And the script, making scripts is not that difficult in the sense that um, we have here all the explanations on the wiki. In the wiki, they say what you need to do install mpd which is going to translate in sudo pacman minus s mpd and so on when it's on the git it's an aur meaning you need to use yahoo or anything else and then it's set up all the files you're going to need and the configuration is in, in the mpd conf and so on so all i did is read do these things and then copy paste them all into a script and let's get this script now so you know, I have some kind of order in my chaos. I create Arch Merge folder, so everything is together. And in here, I'm gonna get my scripts. And the script of one script is now on one uh, GitHub place. We are Arch Merge. This is Linux, and we have Arch Merged. We have a lot of scripts scripts we use to install. Uh, any of the desktop environments on our Arch Merged ISO. When we use this one, we get a folder, and in the folder we have scripts, uh, scripts for the desktop uh, specific ones and the general ones. So general ones is cool retro term, cool core board, downgrade, Dropbox, stuff like that. But in here is also this one. Right mouse click, open the terminal, maybe before i install it let's open it with other application atom okay go ahead open just want you to show uh, it's a new installation as you can see so don't want to see this anymore yes i want to help improve it and the welcome guide is not needed so to the left you see every script available in the AUR 
and of course the one that interests me is this one and like I told you it's not that difficult at all making scripts all I did was follow what it says here and pop, 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 it says here install mpd package what I do is sudo pacman minus s mpd no confirm so yes 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 on needed means if it's already installed skip it ahead so when I test the scripts I know five three ten times then it just skips this installation because it's already installed and all these elements are all coming from information that I gathered in here and I've translated it into a script and finally everything is then installed and here is the NC PCP so this is all MPD and next up is install NC MPCPP and that starts here make a directory copy stuff over and change stuff and that's it some bindings that I copy over so this is very very small installing NC MPCP is nothing but 80 lines for the rest we'll go into detail maybe in another tutorial about the script anyway all you need to do is run the script and it works it should work so mpd and then you install it it's very fast actually done so it's now installed and we can now uh, run it now best thing i don't know if it's necessary but i, I always do it so let's test it I always um, log on, log on again, and see, and and oh la la, it's such a nice name to forget, ncm pcpp. Well, voilà. so everything is working. We do not re need to reboot. Connected to local host is a great message, meaning this client, ncm pcpp, is now locked on to the MPD server and it's waiting. Select the music, please. Now, I don't have any music and it's written into the script that it awaits its music somewhere. I don't know where if I can find it easily. That's okay here. Music. So inside music folder. So if you have maybe another language, uh, then maybe, probably, you'll need to change this name. Yeah? So I'm in English and I'm pointing to this folder music. If in another language change anyway I need some music in there and I have two folders ready just for testing purposes of a uh, simple minds uh, recording and let's get that first and show you what we can do okay I've just downloaded my uh, two albums glittering prize from simple minds and now it's up to us to figure out how does this client work. So this is an, uh, a client. Whoa, it's a strange wallpaper. It's old T to trash it. And I have a new one. That's variety for you. I do think one, two, three, four, five. Okay, everything okay. <laughs> I thought there were six digits. Anyway, whew, still early in the morning. So NCMPCPP. Okay, it's an MPD client compatible with a user interface, very similar to, but provides new useful features and so on. This has all been created because of the scripts and this as well. And not this one, I think, or yes, this one too. I'm not sure. Anyway, what we need to know is how does this thing work? So we have maybe a separate keyboard and, and numeric pads on your keyboard and that's the easiest way to switch between these elements so one is the current list so nothing is playing that's okay two is the file element browser so this is two so we're actually looking into uh, the folder music ah by the way tip if you make here a link to an external hard drive and then it will work as well that's the setting i've uh, change so I can point to an external hard drive where all the music is okay so I don't need to copy paste everything to an SSD that look, would be a bit a bit strange but copy paste all the gigabytes over so that works too a symbolic link to an external hard drive but something else so two is a file system browser three is a deep database search that's this one we can search for something 
4 is a library. That's what we have, just two folders here, two albums, I mean, and, and uh, you know, consequently two folders as well, by the way. So that's this one and that one. Okay. All right, tech editor. That's this one. Seven, output selector. It's going to be MPD also, the sound. And um, eight is going to be the music visualizer if it plays. I can change that as well. We can toggle that. The clock is is, is equals to. And F1, also an interesting one because we're going to need it to see what can we use. What are those shortcuts? Because there are more shortcuts than in the wiki. Okay. So F1 is very important one. Remember that one. Oops. I quit, accidentally quit the system here. So other user interface keys are the Q from quit, forward, seek forward, backwards, show song info and I, show artists, shuffle, eventually next track, play, and plus and minus will make the sound a bit will change the sound. So without further ado, let's just uh, start to look for this maybe. And then with right mouse click, left mouse click, you go over from column to column and you go down and you say, okay, this album, I want to hear this one again and do press enter. And then you go to number one and this is all now in your playlist. This is going to be uh, played and I've tested earlier on when we made these modules for the polybar because that's why I went to investigate this application. We have launched polybar for i3 and openbox and it's one of the modules. So there it is. Like you see, and the colors are still the standard colors. We'll probably make new colors in the future, but let's first uh, make sure everything works fine. And then we can start editing colors and all that. And as you can see, if you saw earlier on in the video, just Google it. There are lots of people working with this application. And all you have to do is uh, friendly, ask friendly, please, can you provide the code? How did you, how did you do this? And then um, they'll help you for sure. Okay. So <coughs> NCP, NCP, P thing. <laughs> if we press number eight, we have, for instance, this one. That's our music visualizer. And if we press on super spacebar, you can go over all the visualization types you have, frequency spectrum, sound ellipse, sound wave, sound wave filled, frequency spectrum, whatever you like. Okay, back to number one, waterfront and uh, music can be paused as well. I think I did just did that. P for paused. So I'm still looking for my shortcuts as well. It's not that I often use it. I'm more a Spotify kind of guy, but it's neat. It's nice. And here they are. We can have more elements to figure out with the show, show browser, show search engine. A lot of things you can test out, stop. This may be also a nice thing to remember. S and a P. And... Um, Let's see what else. Toggle repeat mode, random mode, maybe. Haven't tried the eye yet. So. This is I, and this is capital I. Is that a difference? I. Fetching information. Simple Minds is a Scottish pop and rock band that achieved its greatest worldwide. Incredible. Okay. So we're just experimenting with this line here. Show artist info and show song info. So a lot of things I haven't tried yet. So it's up to you to, to figure out the rest, I guess. Um, and see what it can well if you can uh, fancy it if you can say okay this is my thing this is what I want then you have here now 
and uh, terminal music player. All right. Um, I don't think I have to tell you anything more. The only thing we can get into detail is what this does this script actually do. And I'll explain that in another tutorial. All right. Cheers.